Here they come. And I do believe there is a recall. There is a recall. Starter Blum summons for a recall. Causing the recall, number one, Verney to Talestay took some bad steps and interfered with nine, another blizzard. Once again, the one took some bad steps, interfered with nine, another blizzard, thus calling for a recall. And they're off in the Del Miller Memorial Gold Cup. Looking for the front is one final time, and in the first of five turns, slides over, gets in front of Verne to tell his day. Then we got a lot of wide ones going on with it. On the outside, Angel Allen is going forward. In between them is Bites Him. Falling back was Holly Hill Joke. So drawing for his blood is one final time coming before us. On the outside, attacking and looking for the lead is Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff on the outside, one final time. Angel Allen now going up as well. As they went a first quarter of 29 and two-fifths, and Pine Bluff secures the lead three. In second, one final time. Trying to drop in third is Angel Allen, shadowed inside by Verne to tell his stay. Parked out so far as Image Quest in fifth. Then a boxed in, another blizzard. Move back a length and a half to Elvis T and bites him on the outside but hung the whole way. Same can be said for Holly Hill joking on the inside cash lore. A free spirit on the front end is Pine Bluff with a long lead with a long way to go. In a second on the outside Angel Allen trying to get in front of one final time. Three more to Vernate to Telestay. Half a mile in 59 and one. They move around the far turn, and it's Pine Bluff still by his lonesome two and a half length. Angel Allen has found the two hole. One final time is third. On the inside, Verne to tell us they is a fourth. Going wide is Bitesome. As they come over to the three quarter mile mark, Pine Bluff still out in the clear five lengths with Howard Gelfand in second, Angel Allen and Jamie Rucker. Here comes Bitesome with Tom Williams making some serious headway. Reaching three quarters of a mile, 130 flat. This is it, the bell lap. It is Pine Bluff, still leading at three lengths. Carving into the lead, Bitesum taking second on the outside, making good strides as Holly Hill Joke in third. On the inside, Angel Allen has no more answers. One final time, doesn't have it either. On the outside, Elvis T is coming. They come over to the mile marker. On the outside, new leader, Bitesum has come from well back to seize the lead as they got less than a quarter of a mile to go. On the lead, smelling gold as bites him out there. Four lengths. In second, a tired Pine Bluff. On the outside, Holly Hill Joke. On the inside, a Boxton Elvis T is fourth. There's about eight back to another blizzard coming for home. And bites him in Thomas Williams is on his way. In second, Pine Bluff. On the outside, pushing forward. Here comes Elvis T. Maybe for second, but it's over. The Del Miller Memorial Gold Cup goes to bites him. Second, Elvis T with Jamie McGowan, Pine Bluff, Howard Gelfan, third in 233 flat. Five bites him. Ten year old brown son of Sir Torres at a Quail Ridge Nancy by Texas. Owned in partnership by Mark O'Mara. Also trained by Mr. O'Mara. And partner on the owning side and in the driver's seat, Thomas Williams. The champ now of the CKG Billings winning the Del Miller Memorial Gold Cup. Going on to the fifth, exact a try. Scratch the one, fire everybody. He was injured. More racing in 11 minutes at 151. Run down Vernate to Telestay, ninth, Holly Hill Joke, fourth, one final time, sixth, Pine Bluff, third, Bites him the winner, Angel Allen, eighth, Image Quest, tenth, Cash Lore, seventh, another Blizzard, fifth, Elvis T, second, top down, nine, four, six, 